Welcome to this episode of Social Distance Television, the show founded during the COVID-19 scare to make our students more aware. While the idea for this show started among a group of students from the same school, we want this show to be for and by all in MCPS. Segments from elementary and middle school students or editors from rival schools working together, bring it on. Extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. We truly believe this can be an outlet and resource for students countywide. Although this is not curricular, we hope it will be informative and sometimes even cathartic. At the end of the show, we will share ways of how you can get involved. So, let's roll. I'm Melina Pittman. And I'm Devin Handy. And, and you're, you're watching, watching SDTV. SDTV. On today's show, we'll hear from our aviation expert from the science desk, see what's viral but in a good way, and discover some hidden talents. But first, let's see what's in the news. In local news, Governor Larry Hogan and State Superintendent of Schools Karen Salmon have announced on March 25th that they will be extending the closure of Maryland Public Schools until April 24th, 2020. All additional information can be found on the MCPS website. The Trump administration recently announced that it is waiving all federal requirements for standardized testing in public schools. 24 states have already applied and received this waiver. The Maryland Department of Education will ask the federal government for permission not to administer standardized tests this year. The Montgomery County Police Department is now being called to break up groups of more than 10 people, such as basketball games, because congregating in large numbers increases the spread of the virus. In national news, a Los Angeles County resident is believed to be the first juvenile to die from coronavirus in the U.S. The person was under the age of 18, however not a small child. Coronavirus deaths in children remain rare, as there have been none documented in Europe and only two in China. The Senate will vote on a $2 trillion stimulus package designed to flood the U.S. economy with money in an effort to stabilize households and businesses that have been affected by the coronavirus outbreak. This bill would send $1,200 checks to many Americans. Yet another major event that was scheduled to happen this year has been postponed. The 2020 Tokyo Olympics have been postponed to 2021, as the Japanese Prime Minister promised to keep the event as, quote, a testament to victory over the infection. That's all for today, but be sure to watch the next episode for more updates on current events. If flying in large crowds sounds very scary right now, flying solo must sound like a dream. Our airborne correspondent, Kyle Kingsbury, is grounded right now, but that won't keep him down. He has some incredible visuals for us and a very interesting lesson. Take it away, Kyle. Hey guys, it's me, Kyle Kingsbury. As many of you know, I'm a pilot. And also, the country's currently shut down, which means I can't really fly, but it's okay, because I have something really cool to show you guys. Here you can see me flying a Vans RV-12 Light Sport aircraft and I'm about to do something very cool. Did you guys see that? I went weightless on Earth. Now how is that possible? In order for this to happen, both the airplane and the pencil need to be in free fall. In order for a body to enter free fall, it needs to accelerate downwards, only acting by the force of gravity. For the pencil, this is easy, as it enters free fall the second that I let go of it. But for the plane, not so much. For the plane to enter free fall, I need to cancel out all the other forces besides gravity. This includes lift, drag, and thrust. Also, since the plane and pencil have an initial forward velocity, things are further complicated. The easiest way to do this is to fly a parabola and lower the nose of the plane at a rate that will keep the plane accelerating downwards at 9.81 meters per second squared, which is also the value of gravitational acceleration. And this means that we can make our pencil look like it's floating in midair. Thank you, Kyle. It's cool to hear from a student pilot. How does Hannah get all her viral research done and still have time to share her social media discoveries with us? Let's not question too much. Let's just enjoy. Hey, it's Hannah. Welcome back to Viral, but in a good way. Uh, 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 
today's lineup, a new way to make your morning coffee. People in their homes are remaking a Grammy staple and an amazing ferret. If you're on TikTok, you've probably seen the new way to make your morning coffee, which is sort of like this fluffy, creamy creation. I actually tried it myself and it was pretty good. Here's how you make it. Put in two tablespoons of instant coffee, put in two tablespoons of sugar, put in two tablespoons of hot water, and whisk, and whisk, and keep whisking until it forms stiff peaks. Then you put your whipped coffee on top of some milk and stir, and it's actually not that bad. Moving right along, have you heard of the Grammy Glam Bot? It looks a little bit like this. Because we're all stuck inside, some people have gotten creative and recreated these slow motion videos on their own. Let's take a look. In viral news, a ferret in Colorado has now summited 11 of Colorado's 14ers, which are a mountain that are over 14,000 feet. The ferret's owner noticed how much energy her ferret had and she realized that she could take him out on hikes with her. He wears little vests and life jackets and he's now been to six different states and eight national parks, including the Grand Teton Park in Colorado. In viral breaking news, Charlie D'Amelio has just become the most followed TikToker in the world with over 41 million followers. She recently surpassed Lauren Gray. Her fame started quickly, amassing 5 million followers within the first week of starting her account. Since then, it's been an upward climb. All right, that's it for viral, but in a good way. Thanks, Hannah. All that TikTok stuff was pretty cool, but that ferret was just so cute. Anyway. When they told us we would be doing our own version of The Masked Singer on SDTV, I got pretty into the idea. But then when I heard there would be masked jugglers, and dancers, and painters, and comedians, I thought that could get pretty dangerous. No, no, Devin. People send their talent videos in, and we mask them digitally. Oh, that makes sense. When they explained that there was serious prize money involved, I threw on my tap shoes. Well, not really, because employees can't enter the show. But anyway, let's check out this promo. Aw, Binky. Have nothing else to do during this time of boring sequestering? Well, neither do we! And so, MCPS, bring your best. Social Distance TV is looking for your best hidden talent. Feeling complete. No, I'm not, but it's all in front of me. I've been getting no sleep, but I guess that's how it any talent works. The deadline to enter is midnight April 1st, and the last Hidden Talent contestant standing will win $200. For more information, please join with the classroom code of 5VRIWJS. Please use a non-MCPS email. That's 5VRIWJS. You just bring your talent, and we will do the rest. Hey everyone, we would love to see your creative ideas come to life. You can submit your own segment like the ones you've just seen by joining our Google Classroom code posted on the screen. Finally, we want to clap out for a group of people who make life in our community more bearable. Today, let's clap out for medical professionals who dedicate their work to keeping us healthy, especially during times like this. That concludes this episode of Social Distance Television. Stay safe. And check MCPS TV for more.